Now 112, a man violently assaulted and robbed on Union Avenue, who police are looking for next. Plus, the deadline is here. Taxes are due today. Details for those last minute filers. And we have a live look outside with Gianna Gelosi with your latest on the traffic and transit report. And don't forget Mike's weather on the twos. Thanks for waking up with us here at News 12 The Bronx. It's Monday, April 18th. I'm Kelsey Miner. Your top stories in a moment. But first, let's get to News 12's Gianna Gelosi with your traffic. Good morning, Gianna. Anywhere until we get to Friday. We'll tell you about that chance of rain coming up in less than 10. Good looking forecast, Mike. Thanks so much. 12 on top of crime this morning, a Bronx man is recovering in the hospital after he was violently beaten with a metal garbage can and then robbed. Police releasing photos of three suspects they're looking for. News 12, the Bronx reporter John Diaz joins us from Union Avenue now with the latest on this investigation, John. All right, John, thank you so much for that report. All right, today is the day the deadline day to file your 2015 tax return. You have until midnight to file or ask for an extension. It is important to know, though, that even if you ask for more time to file, you are expected to pay what you think you might owe by today. More than 150 million returns are expected to be filed as of April 8th. The IRS says more than 82 million refunds have been issued. For a link to file electronically or details on how to reach out to the IRS, log on to our website, that's news12.com, and click on the Numbers and Links tab. I'm Kelsey Miner, and this is News 12 The Bronx. In order to check up your hyperlocal weather on the twos is ahead. Plus, the race for the White House continues with all eyes on New York. Details on tomorrow's primary ahead. Latest now in the race for the White House. All eyes are on the Empire State. The New York primary is tomorrow. Clinton busy campaigning around the five boroughs this weekend at a rally in Staten Island. Clinton spoke to her supporters saying to hold her accountable and make sure she visits again once she is president. Also making a surprising thank you to a former president for what he did for New York following 9-11. We said we need $20 billion. He said, you've got it. And despite intense Republican pressure to back down, he never did. So I publicly say thank you, President George W. Bush, for making sure we got the money that we needed to rebuild our city. I have no time for people who are partisan for the sake of being partisan. Meanwhile, Bernie Sanders holding a rally in Brooklyn last night. More than 28,000 people were filling the burn in Prospect Park, including actors Danny DeVito and Justin Long. Sanders speaking to his crowd of supporters, not backing down on his critique of Hillary Clinton and her big money donations. Here is a simple truth which everybody understands, whether you're progressive or conservative, and that is you cannot have a super PAC raise many millions of dollars from Wall Street or special interest and then tell the American people with a straight face that you're going to stand up to the big money interest. Not true. On the Republican side, Ted Cruz makes a clean sweep in Wyoming. He took home all 14 delegates up for grabs over the weekend. And it seems the Republican frontrunner, Donald Trump, isn't too happy about it or the way the nomination process is going. Well, it's a rigged election. Now, I'm winning by a lot. And a lot of people say, don't complain, you're winning. And I think we'll get there on the first ballot, actually. And we're going to have a big day, hopefully, in New York, because I love New York. And a guy like Cruz, you heard his statement on values, New York values, and I can't imagine any New Yorker voting for Cruz. All right, for those Bronxites headed to the polls tomorrow, if any problems arise, Attorney General Eric Snyderman is asking you to call the primary hotline. That number is, to call is 1-800-771-7755. 
The hotline debuted back in 2012 to field voter complaints and resolve the issues with local officials. To vote in tomorrow's primary, you must be a registered Republican or Democrat. For more information on all of this and your designated polling place, head to our website. That's news12.com. All right, let's bring it back home. Weather on the twos and Mike Favetta in the Weather Center just to tell us about the gorgeous day ahead. Yeah, we've got a very clear sky. And if All right, Kurt, 12 on health now in Pennsylvania, becoming the 24th state to legalize Medica marijuana. The governor approved the measure yesterday to allow people suffering from serious medical conditions such as cancer, HIV, and Parkinson's to purchase the drug. Pennsylvania will allow up to 150 dispensaries to operate. However, it could take at least a year and a half for the program to be rolled out. I'm Kelsey Miner, and this is News 12 The Bronx. We are as local as local news gets coming up. We take a what look at the movies so topping the box office this weekend. But first, let's check in with Mike. It was a weekend to be outdoors. Time now for Weather on the Twos. Mike Favetta in the Weather Center to talk about, Mike, it was a nice ride in this morning for me. So much great weather, yes. a clear sky, 58 degree high. So the cool weather is right around the corner after the lovely warm weather today, but it'll be a dry heat today. Very pleasant. Up, down, up, Yeah, it's down, a nice balancing up, down, act though, if you think up, about down. it. Yeah, thanks so much, Mike. You bet. All right, after the success of her first album, 25 year old Bronx singer Isa Marina Lopez recently released a single, Take It Slow, off her second EP. Lopez has been singing professionally for the last three years, but she discovered her musical talent back in grade school at PSMS 20 in the Bronx. After training in opera back in the Dominican Republic, Lopez came back to New York at 18. Her second album is set for release this fall, <laughs> and now she wants to take her music on tour. That's like my number one goal with this EP. Like I've been able to reach so many people across the United States, in the UK, and I'm just, I'm just like ready to get out there and be able to perform for them. Lopez's second EP coming out this fall is called Mirrors Volume 1. Kurt, let's talk movies and what's top in the box office this weekend. What are you doing so deep in the jungle? The Jungle Book proving it's king of the box office, taking in more than $103 million in North America. Just in its opening weekend, it's a live action remake of Disney's 1967 animated version of Rudyard Kipling's book. This is the town I love, a neighborhood of family and friends. You know, I was taking the number two spot was the third installment of Barbershop. The next cut took in an estimated $20 million. Huh, look at that. A bed and a sofa. Careful, it's a bit temperamental. It's not so bad. Oh, oh I think I shattered my palate. Funny woman Melissa McCarthy, the bosses rounded out the top three, making an estimated $10 million. Okay, 12 on entertainment still. Chrissy Teigen welcoming her first child with husband John Legend. The model gave birth on Thursday, but made the announcement on social media Sunday. The baby's name is Luna Simone Stevens, and Tegan posted this on her Instagram to make the announcement. Legend also tweeting that they, quote, couldn't be happier. Congratulations. I'm Kelsey Miner, and this is News 12 of the Bronx. We are as local as local news gets. Much more of your hyperlocal headlines coming straight your way, plus a live traffic report showing you the latest on the roads and rails. And don't forget, Mike Favetta has another look at your weather on the twos. First, another look at a question of the day. What's the best way to reach a loved one during a disaster or tragedy? You can let us know at news12.com or channel 612. Make it a great day.